hey, show clients. And uh, here's another example. When I was working at TI in the internet marketing department, I would have to make these updates on the web page. And crazily enough, the tool we used, it was so old, we didn't have a way to like preview our changes. We were literally changing them on the web page, live web page. And so being someone who wasn't that good at HTML, I was very uh, uh, stressed and concerned. So I wrote this little tool. Let me demonstrate it here real quickly. So when you launch it, it comes open with with um, a little dialog box. And I, I pre-populated with some HTML. It doesn't really matter what's in here. But I can hit a run button, and it's going to literally show me how that's going to look, right, in, in this. I think this is an ActiveX window, if I remember correctly. I haven't looked at the code. Um, but we could just say, uh, you know, we could change. I could, I could, let's see, there's that P tag. Um, so... Let's say C, uh, B, no, yeah, B, I'm trying to remember my hot string. Um, oh yeah, C blue, there we go, duh. All right, so for color blue, hello world, and let's put that all in a, uh, in a P tag, so it'll, it'll have a line return after it, kind of. Um, and let's put in a line break here and say, um, actually this will just leave plain. And now when I run this, so we can see it, uh, it getting applied, right? And this allowed me to make some minor tweaks, um, and not have to go to a web page into HTML file, save it, and then go back to a browser and reload it. I can just keep, um, hitting hitting a button like that time I reloaded it but I could have come back here and just made a little tweak and rerun I should have made an accelerator key there okay close that um yeah I should have made that a accelerator key so I can easily just make some minor tweaks see how it looks so it, it's the simple things right it's it's something like this i'm like man this is a stupid process um i'm gonna have a little preview still doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna look perfect on the website but you know what it's better than nothing um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the code but i'll share it um here i i for some reason wanted to have a different looking icon and then here's the uh html the the text this is the demo text that i put in there just to have as a template to remind me how things go and uh, I, so I'm actually saving it as an HTML file. I think now I could have figured out how to not written it as a file and just save it as a variable. Here's my GUI where I'm, I'm building the GUI. Um, and this, this was uh, allowed me to just reload it easily. And then here's the, the button, um, submit button and cancel. And, and this is where this test HTML is somewhere up in here. So here, oh, nope, that's that. There we go. Here's where it's stored it as blank. Or no, that's that's blanking it. After it submits it, it blanks it. I don't know. Um try HTML test. So this is that's showing it. How the, there's that test HTML. I'll read. Um so we're writing it. Um somewhere before where how did I get to the right? There we go. So this goes and gets it and then sends it to there. And that's where it dumps it in. It was from that GUI, dumps it into here, writes that HTML file. Um, and then this is physically, well, physically, yeah. It literally writes it to that thing. And then later I go back and um, pre. that's where then I, I would launch it. So we're displaying it. So then we read the path to it. Uh, oh, it is ActiveX browser uh, and displays it, navigate, and then I navigate to it. So I would definitely do this a little differently now. I'd probably also, you know, do it in Chrome since we've got those great Chrome tutorials from Geek Dude. All right, I hope that helps. Um, you know, make sure you comment and like, and uh, let me know what you think. Cheers.